Today is Good Friday and Good Friday is the day when we remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. It was a really sad day for all his friends and his family and it's a sad day for us. In church we have a very sombre, very quiet day in church, although it's an amazing thing that he did for us. And so our craft today is to make two different types of cross. The first one I'm really excited about. It's going to be a bit messy um, and you're going to need some salt for this and some glue. Now, if you've got some um, glue that's in a, in a bottle like this with a, a good spout on the end, that's brilliant because then you can just literally draw a shape like that. But mine isn't working. So I'm going to paint quite thickly the shape of a cross on a piece of paper. It's quite good if it's a bit thicker than ordinary um, drawing paper, but see what you've got at home. And I'm going to mark out the shape of a cross on here. So you need to use the glue quite thick, make the glue quite thick. And you're going to draw the outline of a cross. there we have our cross marked out on the um, paper um, with the PVA glue quite thick they're ready to go and then this is where you need the salt all right so with the salt you need to sprinkle it on quite a lot of it on top of the glue try not to get it all over the table but it will need to overlap you need quite a lot of salt on here the glue needs to be wet don't wait for it to dry you might want to do it in sections, so do a little bit of the cross at a time um, rather than doing it all in one go. See how, see how it goes. You can experiment a little bit. And then when you've covered your cross in the um, salt, give it a bit of shake, of a shake, and then onto another piece of paper just going to tip the salt off so that you're just left with a the shape of a salty cross and this is where your paints come in now you need to have quite wet paint so if you've got tubes of paint that's fine but you will need to add some water to it and you just dab the wet paint onto the salt And then we have one cross made out of glue and salt and quite wet paints. So another sort of cross that you can make, you don't need very much for this piece of paper, it can be any coloured paper you like, probably a pale colour piece of paper, and then some tape that you can put on here that will peel off easily. So if you've got some masking tape at home or um, some sort of tape that will stay in place, but when you peel it off, it won't spoil the paper. So let's, and then you're just going to make the shape of a cross with that. And then with colouring pencils, what you do is you colour around the edge of the cross. It doesn't matter if you go over the edge of it, you don't have to stay in the lines for this one. And you can make all sorts of pattern, whatever pattern you like. You might want to do stripes, you might want it to look like a stained glass window. If you've got the paints out from the other one, you could paint down the edge of it if you wanted to. You could, if you wanted to, do it with... Um, finger spots and do different finger spots all around the edge so you can cover your piece of paper in spots but what you need to do whether you color it in or whether you do the spots you need to make sure that the the colors and the paint go right up and overlap the edge of the cross a little bit so that when we then peel off the paint and if you, the paper, if you're using paint, make sure that it's dried before you start peeling it off. And then you carefully peel off the, the tape. And there, 
you end up with a cross through your pattern around the edge. So, two different styles of cross that you can make to remember that on Good Friday, we remember Jesus died on the cross for all of us. Have a good day.